and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to open one more of Make It Mini uh, food, mini verse. This is the Cafe Series 2. And um, I will just jump right into it somewhere. Uh, some of you guys know that these have been recalled. Um, so I went straight out to the stores and got me uh, quite a bunch of these different uh, ones of these so I have Enough for a few months now. So if they are going to disappear all over I still have some of these so no worries. I am not going to return these uh, Also, I know what I'm doing when I am playing around with resin. I know the risk So no worry Anyway, let's get all this here off so I can get into this one here. And let's hope it's not a double. Oh, it's not. It's a cake stand. Oh, I have been wanting this for so long. That was uh, this and um, the pizza are the ones that I really, really, really wanted. So I'm so happy I got this one. Um, let's open up this collector's guide or the how-to. I think there is only one of these. That one. Yes. So we got that one, I'm pretty sure. Um, let me fold this bag up again. Like that. So we have um, the um, read me first thingy that no one is reading. And then I was trying to put this one, there we go, all the way together. I think this really is cute. I might have to make this in resin for um, 1 to 12. I'm not sure I can make it in clay, but we can try. Then we have the um, tweezers. There's nothing more in here. And we have this little thing that goes on the top of the dome, right there. Put that to the side. The tweezers, I never use these because they are, uh, they're cute and so, but they really don't grip that well. I don't think they do at least. Then we have one, two, three more bags here. Let's take one at a time. Here we have the resin with a little, um, sp oh, I don't know the word for that. And we have the decorations for the small cupcakes or cakes. And I think this must be the cakes. Yes. Oh, I love this. This is so neat. Okay, let me take a break and clean up and see what I can figure out here. Hey, I am back again. So we don't need this one and this one to start with, but the cakes and the decorations and this little resin, resin thing here. Let's open it up. Oh, there is no uh, inlay. Oh, it's actually stuck in the lid. That's not good. Let's pop this part on there, and I think we are ready. Oh, there is tape around this one. Um, there we go. Uh, whoops. Let me get the rest of the tape off here. I'm sticking to everything. Anyway, so here we have the cakes and this was pink so I might turn them like that uh, when I make them. Um, we are going to make these cakes in 1 to 12 when I'm done here uh, but I don't think I am going to make this little cake board thingy here. Um, I do have a tutorial on one with hearts in there, so you can uh, see that one. I do will link for that in the info box below so you can find it. 
let's open this little uh, decoration thingy here. I need a I need a normal tweezer for this, I think. Let's open up. There we go. They are so so cute. Two, four, eight, and we have six pieces of cake. Um so I think I am going to use the roses because I really really like those. And then there is three of the flowers here. So I can use those and then save the last two flowers for another project. I could also go in like this and then like that. So that I have six difference, but I really, I really think I want to go like that because then I can use these two for some other kind of project. Uh, I'm gonna close the lid on that one so that I can uh, save them and not lose them for when I need them next time. Okay, let's try this out. The first one. Um, I need a toothpick. There we go. So that I can get it right out to the edges. You could uh, leave it dripping down. Um, I don't think I want to do that. Uh, it's a lot lighter in the color than I really would have liked it to be. Now we are doing this. Let's use the pink flower on here. The only problem I have is that the resin is going to harden, but not underneath the flower here when I am placing it into my UV light. I have that to the side here. Uh, I have experienced that before with the with the cake, with the pineapple slices and um, the cherries on top, uh, the resin was not hardening underneath um, the pineapple slices. Oh, we have that in the light, so I'm just gonna try to make it before it is going to harden in the light from my left side here. Placing this little flower on top and into the light. And the last one of these. And it already feels like it's empty. Wow, that was quick. There we go. Not all empty yet. Putting this out to the side, or the corners. I'm not gonna do anything crazy with this one, I'm just gonna make it as they want us to. And putting that into the light. I'm just gonna take a quick look here in the user guide. Yeah, they're not showing anything different, so I'm just going to keep working here. Again, out into the corners. And then the little flower. Let me try this weird tweezer here. Yeah, it's not that good. It's too bendy to be able to do anything. Put that into my UV light. Next one.
get it out in the corner. There we go. Taking the next flower and placing that right into the middle, popping that into the light and the last one there we go And the toothpick, I'm going to harden that under my UV light as well, because it is toxic. So I'd rather harden it than just throw it out. And putting that onto the, under the light as well. So this little guy here, I am trying to get the rest of my resin into the bottom part, or down here, so that I don't have it in this little tip. And I'm using a baby wipe for this, popping the lid on, because we actually do have a little more resin in there, like that. And then I am going to try to clean this out a tiny bit, so that we can use it again another time. There we go, and then I am going to place this one into the UV light as well, so that I'm sure that I don't touch any unhardened UV resin. And now it's just a waiting game for the UV to cure, so I will be back in a few minutes. I was so excited to start creating this one that I forgot to uh, record the result of the our cakes but that will come later in the video so just let's get started with the build so i designed a cake stand in fusion 360 and printed that on my anycubic photon uh, mono se resin printer i will leave a link in the info box for the design um, after making this video, I decided to make the design a bit different because um, I like the flower pattern that the original one has uh, a tiny bit better than the design this one uh, came out with. Uh, but I struggled a lot with this design, so that was why I made it like this in the first place. But I actually did manage to make the flower design, so that will be in the print file as well so you can make both of these if you want to anyway i am going to paint both of these plates white before i continue now i am using my gold ink here and i'm uh, painting the split or the stick for the middle of these uh, cake stand and I am first painting one end of it, then leaving that to dry, and then painting the other end of it. Now it is time to put everything together, so I am putting a bead of my super glue gel here on this weird little thing on the middle of the stick. And I am using the small plate and pushing that through and up and making sure that this is really nice connected in the glue then i'm using a tiny bit more of my super glue gel and i am placing this little stick into the hole of the bottom plate don't um let it poke too much through because you want it to stand on the plate not on the stick and that's it for this one so here we have the result of the cakes that we made and the uh, cake stand from the ball itself and they turned out really neat i have no problems with the cakes anyway i'm going to measure this one just to make sure that i have the right measurements for making it uh, i am going to make it in uh, clay and for that i am using this mold here i got that from etsy and i think i have a link somewhere for it um, but this is really neat for making plates 
I have another video, I will link for that in the info box below and in the iCard. Um, and uh, there I am showing exactly how I use this plate mold. But I am cutting two circles, one for the uh, smaller size of the plates and one for the bigger size. That would mean the two biggest one on this mold here. Uh, and I'm just going to uh, take my time with this and make these plates. If you want more details about the mold and how to use the mold, then please go uh, look at the video in the info box. Um, and remember, this mold is not uh, able to go into the oven at all, so just have that in mind before you uh, work with this. You can use a button or something else for the plates and then make this plate stand with that. Um, and um, I think that might be easier. I always have a b hard time to find the middle on these plates when I'm um, doing something like this. It is not the first time I try to make a plate stand like this. Um, so I like my 3D printed version better. Uh, but I know it's not everyone that has a 3D printer. So that's why I'm showing you another option uh, for the cake stand. I placed the plate on my uh, ceramic vat, uh, this way I can bake them without leaving any marks. After baking I drilled a hole in the middle, or well, I tried to drill a hole in the middle, and as usually it's not working that much. I'm using an eye pin to put these two pieces together, so I'm just squeezing that up through the bottom of the big plate, leaving the little eye at the bottom. And I am going to use a tiny bit of uh, super glue to glue that in place. I am using a gold knife pen and I'm using some golden beads for making uh, the center of this one. Then placing the other plate on top of this and then another bead. Uh, and again, I am going to glue this all together with my super glue gel. Then I am using my pliers to cut off uh, some of the length of this uh, eye pen. Not too much because I want a, um, what you call that, a circle on top, a loop on top. So I'm using these round nose pliers and then just twisting the rest of the pin around, making the loop and then just um, making sure I like the shape of it. And there I have the little cake stand. Again, I am going to super glue this. I just did that off camera. So here I got the two done cake stands two different ways, but they are both really cute in their own way. So you can choose what kind of plate stand you want. Maybe something totally different than this one. Now it is time for the cakes. Here you see it is a purple pinkish color and this um, vanilla color. So my pink here is too dark. So I'm going to mix it together with some of the white clay here to get a lighter pink. And I also rolled out some of my vanilla clay and I rolled them out on a setting too on my pasta machine. I am using this um, tool here to figure out um, the width of the cakes. So I'm just finding the five millimeter side and squeezing that into the uh, clay here and then cutting it into the lines that I need. And after doing that, I am cutting them into squares. Um, so here you see I have the small cakes. And I'm just gonna cut them all. I'm using a toothbrush and a tiny mold I made from a sandpaper uh, to make some uh, small texture-like things on the sides of each of these cakes. Uh, it takes quite some time, but it looks really good at the end. Now for the flowers. I rolled a piece of white polymer clay. 
this is opaque white and I am cutting five small leaves or petals of them. Then I am using my dotting tool to kind of make it um, more rounded shape. And I am carefully picking one of these up and making a point in one end of these petals. It's kind of hard to show, but I'm using the two fingers here to kind of make the point on the little uh, flower. Let me show one more time. Uh, it took me a while to do these, but I think they came out pretty neat. Now with the point on each of my small uh, petals here, I am putting them together into the uh, flower um, really carefully and trying to place them really nice. You could roll out a piece of white clay on a thin setting and then use a tiny flower cutter to make the flower. I did that later for making a few more uh, as I made kind of a lot of cakes. Uh, but I wanted to do it like this to kind of mimic the one from um, the set itself. I am taking a tiny piece of my yellow clay here, rolling it into a ball and stuffing it into the middle of my flower. And then I am going to make two more of these off camera. Now for the roses, I um, rolled out this pink colored clay uh, into a thin snake and I squashed it really, really flat. Then I am just scraping it off of the plate here, my glass plate, and I am rolling that into my rose. Um, and I'm deciding for the size and then I'm just nipping up the rest of the clay if it's too long. This one was the right size, so no problem. Using my uh, needle tool to off camera, uh, show you how I um, open up the leaves a bit and make a little um, indent here and there, making them different, all off camera. I'm really, really sorry about that. And then I am cutting the head of my rose off and there is a little rose. And you can see compared to the other one, the color is not the same, but I think that's all okay. Then I have this green clay, very light green clay. I think that is a light green with some white in there. And I am just rolling that into uh, a little cane, cutting out a tiny piece of that little cane, shaping that into the little leaf. And I'm trying to score some small leaf marks here so that it also look like the leaf. And then I am going to place that on under the rose itself um, so that it is sitting. And there is a fly here. I need to do something about that one. Um, just placing it onto the little rose and then I am going to make one more and placing that on the rose as well. And of course I need three of these so that I have for all six cakes, three white flowers and three roses for the done result. I baked all my cakes and the decorations and I'm going to use my Modena paste for the icing. You can use a uh, Fimo liquid with some color um, or make an icing with the Fimo liquid. I have a video on that somewhere. Um, um, if you don't have this Modena paste. But I have the Modena paste and I'm going to use it because then I don't have to bake anything again. I am using some um, pink and some white soft pastels to make a nice color in this Modena paste. And then I'm just gonna mix, mix, mix until I'm happy with the color. 
I am placing some of this on top of uh, the cake. Uh, actually, I'm gonna do this on all of the cakes. But here I'm just placing some of, uh, of it on the cake top here. Taking a toothpick, making sure it is lying on the top as I want it. And then I am going to take uh, one of the roses on the lighter color. I put the light color on this cake up and the pink on the next one. Because uh, I want the roses on the light side and the white uh, flowers on the dark side. I know I didn't do that on the other cakes, but I am on these ones. So I'm just gonna do this with all of these until I've used all my decorations. So that was the last of the flowers that I am going to place on this cake here. There we go. And then I had this idea for the other cakes because I found these um, syringes uh, with this uh, little uh, cake topper thingy at the end. Uh, and I found a few of these. I think this is 3D printed. I found them on Al Al AliExpress. That was hard. AliExpress. Um, and I just took the plunger out and then I am putting the uh, Modena paste in here. I think we can do it maybe with um, a female liquid. I'm not sure that it is uh, thick enough to stay. Um, and this is also only a tryout, uh, so I'm wiping off the rest and putting the plunger back in here and then squeezing it up into the end. And then I'm just going to uh, go straight from the top and plunge a tiny bit of this out. And it actually looks really, really neat. It loses a tiny, tiny bit of... Um, the shape of uh, after drying but I actually think they turn out really really cool so I'm doing this with the rest of my cakes and uh, leaving it all to dry so that it is uh, nice and dry for me to continue but that's more of them you could find a lot of these uh, tips there so just showing it I liked it anyway I am using my Fimo liquid um, uh, glaze to glaze the top here um, and that's all there is for the cakes so here we have the uh, 3d printed cake stand the one we made with Polly McClay I actually think they both came out really really neat and then of course the original here uh, and the original cakes um, versus the smaller cake my pink purple thing is a little more dark than the original but I actually think it doesn't really matter that much so now we just put the cakes on the cake stands and that's all we have left to do I actually think these came out really, really cute, and I had a lot of fun with this. I hope you enjoyed this as well, and maybe even got a tiny bit inspired to do something crafty yourself. I hope so. Anyway, that's all for today. I will leave you here, and I will see you again next week. Thank you for watching, and happy crafting. Subscribe, like, and ring the bell.